I believe that case of the ransacked lab from Murders at Karlov Manor is the exact card that Gifts Herman Modern has been waiting for. It's a cost reducer and it creates card advantage, which is exactly what this strategy needed. Let's go find out if I'm right. What is Case of the Ransacked Lab? Well, it's a brand new card from Murders at Karlov Manor. For two and a blue, you get a saga-like enchantment. They're called Cases, and it has a static ability of your instants and sorceries cause one less, like a Goblin Electromancer. Then you have to solve the case, and if you do, you get the third chapter of this saga, essentially. So in order to solve this saga, you have to play four instants or sorceries, then at the end step, it transforms into the third chapter. And the third chapter says, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you draw a card. Okay, so the last chapter on this allows you to beat things like Dothy Voidwalker naturally without having to remove them. All right, so that's pretty great. The problem is that this is a three mana value spell. Striker Rich is actually perfect because it allows you to play it on turn one into a turn two case of the ransacked lab. A problem with Gift Storm has always been that it's creature dependent. And well, the most common removal in the format is for creatures and is a deck that can't win. Well, I shouldn't say can't really struggles to win without a creature in play. It's been difficult the last handful of years. Well, Case of the Ransacked Lab is about to change that. So by having Striker Rich and being able to play this spell on turn two, you get to avoid creature removal. Graveyard removal is also another prominent issue with this deck. This card allows you to be graveyard removal. It's everything we've wanted. So today we're playing this major upgrade. And by playing Striker Rich, you're more likely to solve the case because when you untap with it, you're going to have more spells that are cheap in order to, you know, get the maximum value out of this spell. By playing Striker Rich, you also have the theoretical, more likely possibility of a turn two win with Brawl Chief of uh, <laughs> can't talk we're all chief of compliance there we go i've talked before and there was a win in the past involving multiple copies of desperate ritual and pyretic ritual but you're just increasing those odds that's what i'm trying to say here we're not playing flame of honor we're not playing spike field hazard this is a lean list that's really looking to maximize cantrips and efficiency in the sideboard we have fluster storms for things like Force of Negation. We're not playing Remand today, so these are the only counter spells in our 75. Remand is a card that I'm a known hater of, let's be honest. I don't think that it's aged well in an era of pitch elementals and free spells from Modern Horizons 1. So I think that the format has moved past Remand. I don't want to play it anymore. I don't think it's necessary. Instead, I'm streamlining our deck. We have Lightning Bolt for Dothy Voidwalker. Yes, I understand that we can now win with Case of the Ransacked Lab, but Lightning Bolt removing it is just a little more efficient. Why not take advantage of that? Blood Moon, all these five color decks running around, Blood Moon's going to be great there. And then another way to avoid the graveyard with Empty the Warrens. Plus, our deck gets to naturally abuse Gigantha, so why not just play it as an additional ritual in our, you know, command zone? That's my deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate your support. But for now, we're going to hop on into the first match. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. All right, match number one. A few hours later, I actually started recording this video and then Magic Online had some unexpected downtime while I was in the middle of winning match number one. And while the league got canceled, I was refunded, but we're back. We're trying to win again. And here we have a pretty interesting hand. We have Serum Visions to dig. We have plenty of mana. I think I'm going to try this out. Our opponent with a mulligan to five. So one thing you might have noticed about our deck list today is even though I love Surveil Lands, I'm actually not playing any because we're playing 16 one mana spells. Oh, I thought we were on the play. We're actually on the draw. Okay, well, I like this hand even better on the draw, but we're playing 16 one mana value spells, so I'm not playing a Surveil Land because we should have something to do every single game on the first turn. We draw another Desperate Ritual. Okay, I'm going to go search out a Steam Vents and let's play Serum Visions. Gifts and Given was a great find. Gifts on the bottom, and I think I'll keep the Manamorphose. We'll pass the turn after that. 
Ledger Shredder. Okay. They attack for one. We'll go to 16. I'm going to play one Strike at Rich and pass. I don't really want to trigger the Ledger Shredder if I don't have to. They have two cards in their hand. We'll take two. We draw and it's a Preordain. Let's cast it. Brawl and a Grape Shot. We'll put the Grape Shot on the bottom. Keep the Brawl. And once again, I don't want to... Well, maybe I should give them the trigger here. Because it means next turn I can go off in response to a removal spell. So I'm going to give them the Connive trigger. And they discard a land, so we gave them some valuable filtering here. They search out a Steam Vent, so no Thundering Falls in their deck list. They play another land. They still have two cards in hand. They dash a Ragavan, so they have one card at this point. They swing. We'll take four. They get my top card, whatever it may be. Preordain, what a good hit. Oh, that's devastating here. I don't love that at all. So first they get the Connive Trigger. They discard an Unholy Heat. And they kept a card on top with their Surveil Trigger. Two on top, that's scary. Okay, let's see what we can do this turn. We draw Spire Bluff Canal. Let's attempt a Brawl Chief of Compliance. That resolves. Attempt a Desperate Ritual. Ledger Shredder will trigger. So they get to draw that card that they kept on top with their Preordain. They discard Ragavan. They're going to fetch in response. I mean, I would love it if a Counterspell targeted this Desperate Ritual right now. Oh my, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Sure. Good thing we have all this mana. Desperate Ritual. Desperate Ritual. Manamorphose. We'll make Blue Blue. And let's Metamorphose again. Blue Red. Play a Consider. We'll bend the Pyretic Ritual. And cast Gifts and Given targeting our opponent. Storm 9. And we could just do a pretty stock pile here of Past and Flames 3 Ritual effects. Or you could even grab another Gifts and Given probably, but we don't need to do that. Alright, we'll just do a stock pile. So in game number 1, we did not find our case of the ransacked lab but i'll take a game one win for sure play that desperate ritual manamorphose we'll make blue blue play consider keep preordain and let's flash back past in flames storm is 13 ritual 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 just all the red man in the world let's make it flashback strike it rich and another Strike It Rich. Manamorphose. Let's make some blue. Storm is 22. Play a Serum Vision. Storm 23. Bottom both of these. Play a Strike It Rich. Preordain. Just looking for a Grape Shot at this point. I understand I could Gifts and Given for one, but where's the fun in that? I have the option to cast all of the spells. You know I'm going to take it. Let's play another Manamorphose. Blue, blue. And there it is. All right. Only Storm 28. No big deal. Love it. Okay, so we've taken game number one officially now. On to the post board games. I feel like we definitely want Fluster Storm. And one thing that I like about the current list is that we can actually board out Brawl and just turn off all their Lightning Bolt effects outside of hitting me directly. So we'll board out that. And it's a control matchup, so I'm fine boarding out Striker Rich and we'll bring in the Lightning Bolts. And between the Lightning Bolts and the Fluster Storms, we're just looking to play a little bit of a different game. And then I think Empty's not bad in the matchup. You could shave one Gifts and Given, one Past in Flames, and maybe one Grape Shot. Let's try this. Back in the day when I used to play a lot of Gift Storm, I'm talking about 2018, I had a time period during that year where I was unstoppable with Gifts. I just crushed multiple events and it felt pretty good. And during that time period, I was doing something a lot of people weren't doing, which was I was commonly boarding out all eight of my cost reducers, just turning off all of my opponent's removal, and I was just outvaluing them using pieces of the puzzle. With the Modern Horizons cards being introduced to the format, that plan kind of died. But I like that now with Ransacked or Curse of the Case of the Ransacked Lab. What a long, confusing name. You can do that again. And here we have it. So. With this hand, we just need to find lands. I will keep. 
Okay, steam vents. Into a Dragon's Rage Channeler. Mishra's Bobble. And they surveil away an expressive iteration. They bobble in our upkeep, sure. So they saw that I found another case of the ransacked lab. Let's serum visions digging for land number two. We find it. Although it is a red land. Bottom the serum visions. And I think I'm also going to bottom the ritual. We just don't need it right now. They'll draw a card off Mishra's Bobble. Okay, so they fetch for our steam vents, they attack, and they're just passing. Works for me. Considers the draw. Let's play a preordain. I think I'm going to keep the lightning bolt. We'll play the bolt or play the mountain past the turn. And then in their upkeep, let's bolt the channeler. They let it go. Expressive iteration. I would love to draw land number three here. That way I can slam a case of the ransacked lab. They pick up a mystical dispute that will counter our enchantment. And we did find the land. Wait, no, mystical dispute was what was exiled. My apologies. I think I'm going to just play a control game here. I'm going to dig for Fluster Storm. Grape Shot and land four. I don't think I need the Grape Shot. I will take land number four, though. We can pass. They have five cards in their hand. That's a Murktide Regent, 5-5 five, five Dragon, and they have Counterspell Mana open. On their end step, let's play Consider. Bin the Preordain. Manamorphose is a good draw. Come on, Flusterstorm. Another case of the Ransacked Lab. Okay, we have so many of these, I'm just going to start jamming them. The Counter Target Spell, sure. Play Steam Vents, and then we'll pass. They play land number five, three cards in hand. They dash a Ragavan. Not really something I wanted to see here. So they hit me, it triggers. They exile a land. Okay, so they have two cards that aren't Ragavan. Let's try another case here. It resolves. Okay, let's try Desperate Ritual. Spell Snare. Okay. So they have Ragavan and one unknown. Assuming that they dash Ragavan here, they have Lethal Murktide in the air next turn. So I need to I need to do something meaningful on our turn. I know that Grape Shot's on the bottom of my deck. They hit my Fluster Storm. I suppose that's okay. It's better than them finding a cantrip. I'm at five. Empty's not good enough here being at five life. Serum Visions. We find Fluster Storm. We'll keep Manamorphose on top. Manamorphose. We'll do blue-red. I guess I'll cast Consider here. Bin the Steam Vents. Gifts and Given. Okay. Let's Gifts and Given. I need to find a Ritual off of this Manamorphose. The fourth case of the Ransacked Lab. Oh, I think we just lost. Target them. We'll do Desperate Ritual. Hieratic Ritual. Cast in Flames. So if I do the Stockpile... There's a chance I win if they give me Manamorphose. If they give me Past and Flames Ritual, I just flat out lose. Uh, if they give me Ritual Ritual, I win, but I don't think that's going to happen. So alternatively, I could do I could take out the Manamorphose and then put Grape Shot in, and I don't think they're ever going to give me Grape Shot. So if they give me Ritual Past and Flames, I still lose. If they give me Ritual Ritual, I win. So, like, am I supposed to put Manamorphose in here instead of one of the Rituals? Because that gives me the potential to spike a Ritual to win. Except if Passing Flames in the grave sh or is in the Graveyard, that doesn't work. So if they give me Ritual Manamorphose, I guess I always have the, the line of losing of Passing Flames Ritual. All right, here's my pile. I have not played a land yet. So I guess Manamorphose might be able to hit a land depending on what the pile is. They gave me the Grape Shot. Interesting. Target the Murktide five times. Well, actually, I might do it six times, just in case. They had Fluster Storm this whole time, huh? <gasps> they messed up. They did it with my Storm Trigger on the stack. Oh, brother, that's not good. You just messed up. You messed up bad. Yep, and now I get to kill your Murktide Regent. All right, five copies of Murktide. They still have a Ragavan. Yeah, they definitely just messed that up. And now we've solved the case of the Ransacked Lab, so next turn all of our spells draw a card. Well, Incense and Sorcery draw a card. They express a iteration. They find a Dragon's Rage Channeler. They dash Ragavan. 
I just thought of really bad ending to this game. I almost don't want to say it out loud. They hit me. They flip over Scalding Tarn. If they flipped over my own Lightning Bolt, I would be a little bit sad. They play a Channeler. They have two cards in hand here. Another Channeler. They have one card. And then the, uh, the Ragavan goes back to their hand. We find a Lightning Bolt. I guess we play Past in Flames. This draws a card. We draw another empty. Okay, so it looks like they don't have counter magic. I'll Desperate Ritual. We draw a card. We draw a land. Let's play the land. All right, it seems like this should be pretty easy from here. Wow, we got there. Case of the Ransacked Lab. Look at that. Doesn't die to Lightning Bolt. Big fan. Also, I don't buy die to Lightning Bolt at three life. But we're 1 0. Let's try to win the next four. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we've won the die roll. Reveal our elk best friend. Our opponent reveals a Kahira the Orphan Guard. This hand seems great, I will keep. We'll lead on Scalding Tarn, let's go grab a Steam Vents. And Preordain. I think I'm good keeping both of these. Pass the turn. They play the Soul Tide Triome. We'll play Ottawara. Cast Serum Visions. We find the land we want and... Past in Flames. I think we keep Past in Flames here. And then I'll play Striker Rich. Pass. They play a Windswept Heath. We'll draw the Past in Flames. Flashback Striker Rich. Just trying to set up for a window of opportunity. Fun fact about Magic the Gathering, you don't have to jam into your opponent's open mana. They pick up a Jeskai Triome and a Hallowed Fountain. Speaking of opportunities, there's one. Our, oh. They did not plus on my treasure token, or minus on my treasure token. So we're going to try to win the game here. We'll play a Case of the Ransacked Lab and a Desperate Ritual. Sacrifice the treasure for blue. Give some give in targeting our opponent. We'll grab Manamorphos, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, and then we have not played a land yet for our turn. Okay. I mean, it should be Mountain Manamorphos, but let's see what they do. They gave me the ritual. So that's just a win. We'll strike it rich. Past in flames. Sacrifice the treasure. And we go through it all again. Strike it rich. Flashes back. That way we get a treasure. Manamorphos. We'll make some blue mana here. We find a Baral. The one that complies. Gifts and given targeting our opponent. We still have past in flames in the graveyard. So we'll do grape shot. Desperate ritual. Manamorphose, and a Pyretic Ritual. Play Pyretic Ritual, play Desperate Ritual, Flashback, Past in Flames. Ritual, Ritual, Manamorphose, we'll make some blue. Another Gifts and Given, Preordain. Put the case on the bottom, we'll keep Manamorphose. And Grape Shot our opponent for 21. You could try to be cheeky here and target the Teferi for 5. I'm just not going to do that. We win game number one. I think we want the Blood Moons. We likely want Empty and the Fluster Storms. I don't think that this is a speed-based matchup, so I'm good with boarding out Striker Rich. I then usually board out one Passing Flames and one Gifts and Given in a lot of matchups. It just hedges you against Yard Hate. And now we're at 64. You could probably just board out some number of Serum Visions. It's the worst cantrip in the deck. I think everything else is pretty vital to how our deck functions. So we'll try this out. You might notice that I'm playing three basic islands today. That is because I am playing three Blood Moon in the board. Without Blood Moon, I think you can get away with two. But when you have Blood Moons, I think you really want three basics. Keep. Some companion on companion action. Bluster Storm is a great pickup. I'm going to try to be a little bit deceiving here. I'm going to purposely fetch for Steam Vents, even though my plan is to eventually Blood Moon the opponent. Preordain. And I'll keep this other Preordain. Pass. They pick up a Jeskai Triome. The Rugrin Triome. 
Basic forest, I don't like that. That should be illegal. They pick up a, or they resolve a Renin 6, I should say. We find Spire Bluff Canal. Preordain. I don't think I need another Fluster Storm. That can go on the bottom. We'll keep this Preordain. Cast it. Manamorphos can go on the bottom. But, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Put the land on the bottom. I think Manamorphos goes on the bottom too. All four Preordain, huh? Talk about selection. They play Misty Rainforest. They pick up a Triome. They return the Misty Rainforest and pass. We'll play another Spire Bluff here. Preordain. I think we want both of these. Pass the turn. Land number four, they fetch immediately. They grab a basic, so Blood Moon's probably not going to work this game. They return the Misty. And step I'll consider. Actually, we can bend the passive flames here. That's kind of nice. We pick up Gifts and Given. Our opponent has to go to clean up and discard the land. Here they ice my floss or ice my steam vents. That's okay. It cuts me off of hard casting the Gifts and Given, which is a little bit annoying. We will pass the turn. All right, so the Ren and Six will ultimate next turn. The Fairy Time Raveler when I have double Fluster Storm in hand. Yikes. Um, let's Desperate Ritual. And let's Gifts and Given targeting our opponent. Reprieve. Okay. So I guess my best draw here is a Ritual off the top. I have a draw step and a Manamorphose to make that happen. Well, the draw step was not it. Case of the Ransacked Lab. Come on, Doc. Manamorphose, let's just give me a ritual, pretty please. Nope, another case. All right, so we'll play double case pass. Our opponent ultimates run in six. They bounce a case of the Ransacked Lab. I believe I have lost this game. They play an Omnath. And a fetch land. So as long as they have another land in hand, they can reprieve over and over again. Leyline Binding on my Ransack. Yep. Discard Supreme Verdict. I'm going to go to the next game. I believe that we've lost. I'd rather not waste time. Try it again. All right, on the play for game number three. Reveal our companion, Gigantha. This seems good to me. Keep. Lead on the Spire Bluff Canal, and let's preordain. If we find a ritual, we have access to turn two Blood Moon. I think we want to bottom the gifts... And I don't think that our hand is really an empty hand, so I'll bottom that. Philosopher's Firm was the draw. Okay. Turn one, Sacred Foundry. Come on, give me a ritual. Pretty please. Let's see it. There we go. Turn two, Blood Moon. Pyrotic Ritual. Blood Moon. Okay. They have the basic forest. That's unfortunate. So they have red and six mana, but they're not playing it. Let's play Baral. Pass the turn. They besage you, my blood moon. Ah, uh, they just had the answer the whole time. We'll grab a basic island. Temple Garden, so no blue mana. Leyline Binding. We'll consider in response. Bin the Ritual. We just don't need it. And another Baral. Play a case of the Ransacked Lab. Pass the turn. Still no blue mana for our opponent. The One Ring. Okay. They draw a card. Another blood moon. Pass the turn. They'll draw two now. All right, so they didn't have another basic. The question is, do they have another besage you? And it looks like the answer is yes. Okay. Grab a steam vents. I could put the land into play on tap for Fluster Storm, but I don't think they're going to play something that I can actually counter with Fluster Storm. It's probably just a Teferi. Yep. That hurts. Okay. Their opponent's definitely in a good spot here. Play the case of the Ransacked Lab. And I'm going to pass the turn. I could Grape Shot the Teferi, but they might just have another one. So what's really the point? And this Grape Shot might be able to squeeze out the extra few points of damage versus the One Ring. They have 10 cards in their hand. Renin 6. Okay. Oh, they have Renin 6 Besaju. Oh, they didn't grab Besaju here. That's interesting. They fetch. They're at 11 now. Another One Ring. Okay, so they have protection again. Gifts and given. So I can empty the warrants for a lot. Maybe that's just the move here. Desperate Ritual. Play Baral. Oh, I can't target them with gifts. Oh no. Ah. I might have just punted. Play Keys of the Ransacked Lab. Now Grape Shot for four. And then we'll target the Ren and Six a couple times. 
All right, pass the turn. They draw a card with the one ring. Now they'll draw two cards. They plus the Ren, getting back Flooded Strand. So they're just not concerned about Paseju here. Omnath, they play a land. Triggers, they go up to 14. They can now fetch and make four mana. They're at 11. Another Teferi Time Raveler. They bounce my case of the Ransacked Lab. These Flusterstorms have rotted in my hand all match. Maybe it was wrong to board them in. I thought our opponent was playing Counter Target Spell, but I just have not seen it. And Prismatic Ending on my Brawl. They probably have Reprieve by now. And I can't Flusterstorm it. Play another case of the Ransacked Lab. I don't think I'm supposed to just jam Gifts and Given here. I feel like that's a mistake. We'll pass the turn. Another Leyline Binding. Yeah, maybe just boarding in Fluster was wrong. They draw three with the One Ring. So the One Ring is never going to kill them at this point because they have the Omnath. I think we lost this game on turn two when our opponent had the basic into Paseju. We'll grab a Steam Vents. Another copy of the One Ring. They attack, I go to 16. They discard a land. We draw a land. Grab the basic mountain. We'll put Gigantha to our hand. Play a Brawl. Pass the turn. Instant speed, prismatic ending. I'm good to just call it here. Like, we're not winning. That was a brutal match. Really, really devastating that turn to besage you. But one of the things about magic, you don't always win. You kind of just have to accept that. So we're one and one, but there's still three matches left to go. A lot of opportunities for match wins. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a turn two case of the ransacked lab. I'm not sure what our opponent's playing. Arid Mesa, okay. Steam Vents, I will shock myself going to 18. And we'll play Strike It Rich. Jetmere's Garden, okay. Stomping Ground. Playing the Scalding Tarn here in case I want to use the Ottawara to bounce like a Leyline Binding. Play the Case of the Ransacked Lab. They Reprieve it. Yep. They miss their Land Drop. We'll play the Case of the Ransacked Lab again. This time it resolves. They find Land number three. They pick up a Xander's Lounge. Leyline Binding. Yep. We'll Preordain. I think we want both of these. I'll take the Serum Visions. Cast the Serum Visions. Gifts Ungiven. I'm going to put both on top and then surveil away the Ritual. So that way it's in our graveyard for later. Alright, the Ritual goes to the graveyard. We draw the Gifts Ungiven. Pass the turn. So our opponent isn't playing the same deck as last round. I believe our opponent is playing Indomitable Creativity. And they just pass the turn. We'll play our land. And send it back. And step the deduce. And they're going to clean up. I'm just going to let that happen. Discards a lightning bolt. And we draw Baral. I will play Strike It Rich. Pass the turn. They lay line binding on my treasure token. This feels like a pretty good time to cast this Gifts and Given. And it resolves. Okay, love that. Manamorphose. Heretic Ritual. And another case of the Ransacked Lab. I don't think they're going to give me the case, which is why I'm putting it in the pile. Oh, they did. How about that? They draw a card using their clue. And they did find land number four. We find another Ottawara. I'll play the Ottawara. Legend roll happens. And then play the case of the Ransacked Lab. They allow it to resolve. Okay. Let's try a Pyretic Ritual. Our opponent painfully... Pausing on a lot of our spells. I don't know if they are just really concerned about what they're up to or what. I'm going to respond to this Leyline Binding. Let's cast a Desperate Ritual. And they have the Reprieve. Okay. Third Leyline Binding is going to be tough here. So 
I can make four mana, but that's not good enough. I could play Baral and then Ritual. That only gets me up to three mana. I think I'm supposed to just flashback a Striker Rich and pass. They finally play a Dwarven Mine. And there's the Indomitable Creativity. Our kind of Cruelty will discard Grape Shot. We find another Ritual. My line last turn, if I went for it, actually would have won the game. Funny. But I think I took a safe line that's probably going to win the game this turn anyway. Desperate Ritual. Leyline Binding number four. Lightning Bolt. All right. Pyrotic Ritual. Manamorphose. We'll do Blue Blue. Consider. We'll keep the other Brawl. Brawl can die. Pyrotic Ritual. Play Brawl. Cast in Flames floating a red. And from here, it should just be pretty easy. Flashback a Striker Rich. Desperate Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Manamorphose. We'll do Blue Blue. Pyretic Ritual. Serum Visions. These both can go on the bottom. Play Preordain. And the opponent concedes. So we've taken game number one from Creativity. It's a matchup where I do like Flusterstorm, unlike that last matchup. I probably shouldn't have sided in Fluster in the last round, but can't change that at this point. I think that Empty is a little unreliable in this matchup, so I don't think I want it here. We'll just side out Striker Rich. Okay, well we opened up a hand that would have been really good if I did side in Empty, but we did not. I think I'm still going to try this. They lead on Dwarven Mine. Another case of the Ransacked Lab. Play Serum Visions. Uh-oh. What Preordain on top? We might be in trouble here if I don't find that land. Our opponent plays a Scalding Tarn. For a Stomping Ground and then Ren in Six. We'll draw the Preordain that we put on top of the deck, cast it looking for our second land. And we missed. We'll bottom both. Brutal. I'm going to go to game number three. Like, I know that it seems a little preemptive. I'm not going to come back. My hand doesn't do anything. It's just so clunky. And well, I'll be honest with you. I value my time on this earth. I'm not going to spend time wasting on a game I can't win. So we're going to try it again. And I think I might try something a little bit different this time. I'm going to side in the empties. Bring in the gifts. Board out one past in flames. We're going to board out serum visions. And one grape shot. Let's try this. All right, on the play, reveal our Jagantha. Great hand, keep. Play Scalding Turn, pass the turn. They play a Surveil in and disc, or I should say, Surveil away. Oh, I meant to consider, I was too busy talking. A Dwarven Mine, whoops. We'll play, actually, no. We'll just pass. There's a Stomping Ground. Ren in six, okay. They pick up the Scalding Turn. And step I'll fetch, I'll go to 17, grab the steam vents. Let's consider. We don't need another gifts and given. Consider again. I will keep preordain. Draw another ritual, we'll play, cast the preordain. Bottom the island, keep preordain. Cast another preordain. Brawl is a good pickup here. Play the striker rich, pass the turn. They get back the dwarven mine. They play scalding tarn. And they go to clean up. We'll play land four and pass. On their end step, I can cast this Gifts and Given. They select a Jetmere's Garden. The Fairy Time Raveler. We'll grab a basic and cast Gifts and Given. Cast in Flames. Manamorphose. Empty the Warrens. And a Pyretic Ritual. Actually, let's do a Desperate Ritual. With having two Pyretic Rituals in hand, it could be dangerous if I get a ritual, and then I doubt our opponent's playing Surgical Extraction, but you never know. It's just safer here to grab Desperate Ritual. They gave me the Empty the Warrens. That's a little surprising. They return the Scalding Tarn, and they plus on the Teferi. So they're representing having Leyline Binding here. Play the Brawl. Cast a Pyretic Ritual. They let it go. Okay, let's try Manamorphose. Red, blue... We find another land. Let's fetch. Grab a basic. Heretic Ritual. Silence. Was not expecting that one. Okay. I guess I can put Gigantha to my hand. That was devastating. We will pass the turn. Leyline Binding. They plus their Teferi, uh, Teferi Time Raveler. 
I now lose to a Reprieve, by the way. That's not fun. Three red for a Fable. So they're tapping out. I actually should have the win now. Desperate Ritual. Flashback Past in Flames. Storm is two and they're at 14. Full Pyretic Ritual. And then let's Manamorphose. Let's make some blue mana. Actually, I'm going to Dust Ritual one more time. So this way I can make two blue mana. Blue, blue. Another empty. Here's a Pyretic Ritual I missed. That's Storm six. We'll play Preordain from the Graveyard. Bottom both of these. Another Gifts and Given. Let's try another Preordain. Storm eight. Keep the Dust Ritual. Cast Dust Ritual. Flashback Striker Rich for its mana value from Past in Flames. That's Storm 10. Storm 11, Preordain. Bottom the Fluster Storm, keep the Pyretic. Cast Pyretic Ritual, that's Storm 12. Storm 13 is Desperate. Storm 14 for exactly lethal is Grape Shot. Would you look at that? Silence is wild. Okay, well, we got the match when we're now 2 and 1. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw, and I will keep. Our opponent begins the match with a Verdant Catacombs. We draw land number two, which is certainly welcome. Play Preordain. We're going to bottom a case of the Ransacked Lab. We'll keep Manamorphose. Pass the turn. Underground Mortuary. That's spicy. Gets rid of an Urza Saga. What are you up to over there? Bloodstained Mire. Is this just Jund? There's a Renin 6. You got it. Gets back a Verdant Catacombs. We find another Desperate Ritual. I'm going to consider my main phase in case we hit Striker Rich. That can go to the graveyard. Gifts and given. Okay. They return the Urza Saga. They play it. Draw for turn. It's a Brawl. I guess I'll play a Brawl here. I'm assuming that it's going to die, but... I don't want to go Dust Ritual Metamorphose Case of the Ransacked Lab burning two resources on the way. They Lightning Bolt the Brawl. Orcish Bowmasters. Sure. Saga goes up to the second chapter. They return the Bloodstained Mire. Back for two will fall to 17 life. We missed on the land again. Okay, I think now I'm going to burn the resources. I'm just falling behind. Metamorphose. We'll do blue, blue. And now we draw the land. Ay -y -y -y. Okay. Play the Scalding Tarn. Play the Case of the Ransacked Lab. And then we'll pass the turn. They pick up a Stomping Ground. And then they make a Construct Token. Urza Saga is going to go to the third chapter here. They do not make another construct. Our opponent got a Haywire Mite and then uses it on our case of the Ransacked Lab. I was not expecting that. That hurts. And then they use the Red and Six to get back the Urza Saga. And then they play a Tarmogoyf. I am running out of time. They're going to attack here for four. Oh, fall to 12. I'm actually really close to being dead. So if I fetch on the end up, I go to 11. They have 9 points of damage on the table, plus the Ren is 10. So I would need to draw an untapped land to be, even be able to go for it if I wanted to. Well, Manamorphose also allows me to do that. Okay, so we have to hope they don't have any removal. Brawl. Attempt a Desperate Ritual. Certainly feels desperate here. Unholy Heat. Yep. There's, so that also shuts off my Manamorphose. I have to put Gigantha to hand and pass. There's no one draw that wins the game for me. Pass the turn. They swing. I go to two. And a Lightning Bolt. Yep. Okay, so I do plan on boarding out Brawl here. We'll bring and empty the Warrens. I don't think I want Blood Moon in this matchup. So, like, you could bring in a Lightning Bolt. Maybe I'll board out a couple copies of Striker Rich for more Bolts. Let's try this out, I suppose. Sure, we'll try this for game number two. All right, so we'll lead on Scalding Tarn. We'll go search out a uh, Steam Vents. Cast Preordain. Cannot keep either of these, even though I would love them. We just need lands. We do find a Case of the Ransacked Lab. Still looking for the second land here. Serum Visions. Let's cast Preordain. No lands. 
There we go. Serum Visions. Land number three. Come on. There it is. Boom. We'll put one gift thing given on the bottom, one on top. They search out the raucous theater. And they surveil a card to the top of their library. They cast an Inquisition of Kozilek, so that can discard my case of the ransacked lab. And then they have an Urza Saga. Gifts and Given is the known draw. I'm going to fetch and then consider. Grab a basic. Play the consider. Bolt can go to the graveyard. We find another desperate ritual. We will pass. They play a Bloodstained Mire. Urza Saga is available. Thought sees. The discard is coming. Goodbye, Gifts and Given. We draw another desperate ritual. I'm just going to put Gigantha to hand. And they grab an overgrown tomb. Orcish Bowmasters, you got it. They pick up a Nile spell bomb, which is a little bit annoying, but like right now I'm not even really doing anything, so I think that's fine. Ren and six, that will get back the Urza Saga. And another thought sees you're killing me, Smalls. They take the grape shot. They swing for two, I'll fall to 13 life. We draw another ritual. I will cycle the Manamorphos and give them that Orcish Bowmaster trigger. Red, blue, and all we have is mana. Play the Pyretic Ritual. Play another Pyretic Ritual. Let's uh, cast Gigantha, I guess. Our opponent uses Run on the Verdant Catacombs. They attack for two. I'm not going to block. Blocking means that my Gigantha dies to a Lightning Bolt. I don't want that to happen. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. They play as a Saga. They have two cards left in hand. We find Gifts and Given. I think I'm just going to pass here. Our opponent discards two lands, the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I'm not going to block, so if they have double Lightning Bolt, I'm dead. But I think if they bolt my Gigantha and it dies, I lose this game anyway. They return Verdant Catacombs and a Termogoyf. On the end step, we'll make some mana with Gigantha. And let's gift some given. So we have to find a win through Nile Spellbomb. It's going to be tough. Let's do Lightning Bolt. Empty the Warrens. Grape Shot. And Past in Flames, maybe? They gave me Bolt Past in Flames. Okay. We draw Empty. That was actually huge. Well, Desperate Ritual slice, uh, Splicing Desperate Ritual. Alright, so six mana. And now I'm going to pass in flames down to two mana. Our opponent's going to likely use their spell bomb. And in response to the pass in flames resolving after the spell bomb is resolved, I can desperate ritual. So my graveyard is going to get exiled. I wish I had another ritual in my hand here, but I don't. So we will cast the desperate ritual. Storm is three. And now pass in flames resolves. We will now flash back the desperate ritual, giving us exactly four mana. Play Striker Rich just for the storm count. Sacrifice the treasure and cast Empty the Warrens. 12 1 1 Goblins. Pass the turn. And step they create a construct token. Fable transforms into Reflection of Kiki Jiki. And then they have an Urza Saga trigger. And they pick up a Shadow Spear. That's scary. They return the Saga to their hand and their Tarmogoyf actually got smaller. They equip the Tarmogoyf. They're attacking for 4, so they're going to go up to 15. I am dead if they have Lightning Bolt, but I also don't think I can win if I throw creatures in front of this, so no blocks. If you have Bolt, I'm dead. They can minus their Ren, but they've already plussed it, so that's not an option. And they did have the Lightning Bolt. Okay, so, I mean, realistically, I was never going to win this game if I threw a bunch of creatures in front of this Termoglyph anyway, so why bother making that play? And it's not going to let me see my draw step, so... Unfortunately, we're now 2-2 two and two just trying to get even, well, I shouldn't say even, positive to finish out this league. I'll see you in the fifth match. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The final round, we're on the draw and I will keep. Thundering Falls, okay. Pyretic Ritual. Use the Scalding Turn, we'll go grab Basic Island, and let's play Serum Visions. Two more Rituals. I think we're supposed to bottom these. 
Our opponent plays a flooded strand and passes, so they're likely on Is It Murktide if I had to take a wild guess. Could also just be Rhinos. But uh, you don't see flooded strand and Rhinos too often. Let's play a Preordain. Put the Strike Rich to the graveyard, we'll keep Consider. I'm sorry, on the bottom. I keep on saying to the graveyard. And let's play a Striker Rich. Our opponent picks up a Triome and then cycles Lorien Revealed. It's the Abzan Triome, so they have all five colors now. And then they play a Breeding Pool. I mean, this could just be five color Rhinos. We find a Case of the Ransacked Lab. We'll play the Ottawara and then play the Case of the Ransacked Lab. Force of Negation, Exiling Subtlety. Sure. And Set Violent Outburst. You got it. They have two cards left in hand. The swing I'll go to 11. And a Scion of Draco. So they are now representing lethal. We find another ritual. Let's play a Consider. Bin the Grape Shot. We draw Gifts and Given. So I can go Pyretic Ritual, Pyretic Ritual up to 4 mana. And then we can cast Passing Lights, but I only have 1 mana available. So I think we might have actually just lost this. Because I think we're stuck. I needed to draw a land here, and we could have maybe won the game. Or just mowed down their entire board. Manamorphos. There's no draw that wins it here. I guess I have one other Grape Shot I could draw into that kills some creatures. Play a Manamorphos. Blue, red. And now we draw the land. It's too late, though. So this is four mana. Desperate Ritual is five. The Passing Flames need six. So unfortunately, we're dead. Okay. This is a matchup where Flusterstorm is actually good, so we'll bring those in. I also like Blood Moon here. Although, they're, I don't know if the Domain versions are still Blood Moon deck. Board out the Striker Rich. And we'll board down a couple copies of Serum Visions. We'll try this out. On the play. Good hand, we'll keep. Play Spire Bluff Canal, pass the turn. I'm going to just jam the Brawl. If they have a Mystical Dispute, they have a Mystical Dispute. But I think the best chance of me winning is just throwing it out there on turn two and being able to untap. They select a Thundering Falls. And they surveil away a Leyline of the Guild Pact. Leyline Binding, yep. This is the biggest problem with Fluster Storm is Leyline Binding. But here's the thing. And people are going to be so upset when I say this, but Remand stinks. And it's bad against, you know, all the. Pitch Elementals, the Force Effects from Modern Horizons 1, but it's also embarrassing against Leyline Binding since it costs 1. So, like, I don't think Remand is the answer, but it does feel a little bit weird not having any permission in our deck. Alright, I'm going to cycle Manamorphose. They're going to Force a Negation my Manamorphose. Sure, you got it. They have an Arid Mesa and a Shardless Agent. We will Flusterstorm the Crashing Footfalls. Wow, we ripped Blood Moon. That was one of our few good draws here. Let's play it. They had another Force of Negation. So you had turn two Leyline Binding into turn three Shardless Agent with double Force of Negation. Wow. That's brutal. Okay. And another. This deck is too good. Just too good. They have 12 power on the table now. Preordain. We'll keep the land, I suppose. Ritual. Gifts and given targeting you. Past in flames. We're just going to do a stockpile here and hope to draw well. Okay. Our opponent gave me double ritual. Interesting. All right, they attack. I go to four. I thought it was four. Maybe I miscounted. I'm at six. And they have two cards in hand. They suspend a crashing footfalls. This would be considered drawing well. That was actually a great hit here. Case of the Ransacked Lab. Pyretic Ritual. Uh, uh, Desperate Ritual. Flashback Past in Flames. Desperate Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Pyretic Ritual. Let's make some blue mana. Gifts and Given targeting you. Storm is 9. Past in Flames. Ritual. Metamorphose. Ritual. Not Foster Storm. That is not what I clicked on. Okay. Crack this time. They gave me a few rituals. We'll start casting them. Flashback to Past in Flames. I could have swore I clicked on Manamorphose, but I'm tired. Maybe I'm just... I didn't. A Gigantha to hand. Let's play the Gigantha because I can. And Grape Shot. 
And we do have Fluster Storm in hand as well, in case our opponent just had something at the very end. Off to game number three. Can't believe we beat this draw. Like, they had a nuts hand. All right, the final game of this league. I would love to finish with a positive record. Game number three, we're on the draw. This hand's very risky. I could not hit a second land and just lose the game. But with having Fluster Storm, I'm going to try it. They begin on Leyline of the Guild Pact. Thundering Falls. And they kept the card. We draw another Preordain. Play the Scalding Tarn. Grab a Steam Vents. And let's Preordain. So this Blood Moon is pretty useless because I'm never going to be able to Blood Moon them out. But we did find land too. I love that. They just play a land and pass. We'll draw and it's a ritual. Play the island. Let's cast another Preordain. Gifts and given in land three. I will keep land three. They cycle Lorien Revealed. And then they fetch for the Azorius Surveil land. Meticulous Archive. They play a basic island. And I am not going to consider because I don't want to give them a window to Violent Outburst. Just play the Steam Vents tapped and pass. It's a fairy time raveler. Okay, well I guess my Fluster Storm is dead. Keep the land. They minus the Teferi. So if our opponent doesn't have a Force of Negation, I can probably do some pretty fun stuff here, but odds are they do have a Force of Negation. We will fetch. Let's try a Case of the Ransacked Lab. And there's the Force of Negation. Pass the turn. They plus Teferi. They still have four cards. There's Shardless Agent. Yep. Ten power on the board. They say they have three cards in hand. I just feel so far behind. Another Blood Moon. We'll fall to 15. Grab a basic. Attempt two gifts and given. Mystical Dispute. I think that's probably going to be the game. So they attack for 10. I'll go to 5. Another gifts. So I think the only way we win this is if I cycle Manamorphose into like a Brawl. And I think our opponent even then has to mess up in order for me to win. Okay. Double Force and Negation Mystical Dispute. No! All right. So we got stomped this league. My, our, what are my thoughts? Well, one, I'm pretty tired if you can't tell. I'm barely speaking English at this point. Um, I think that the Strike at Rich was better in theory than in practice. My idea of accelerating into Case of the Ransacked Lab never really mattered. So I think instead of trying to accelerate in, you should try to slow down. That doesn't mean remand. I don't think remand is good. It's not good against Force and Negation, Mystical Dispute, Leyline Binding... Pretty much anything. Like, it's good against exactly the Cascade spells, but we're not trying to beat the Cascade spells. If we were, Fluster Storm is just fine. So I think if I was to play this deck again, I would play four copies of Spell Pierce in the sideboard over Fluster Storm. And then in the main deck, honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I do think that I'd probably cut the Strike Riches. I'd add Lance 17 back in. And then you have some room to work with. But I... I really don't think Remand is the answer, and I'm not trying to be a hater when I say that. I think that it's a card that people that like this strategy have been stuck to for far too long. And even though I'm trying to slow the deck down, I'm not convinced Remand is it. I'm welcome to being wrong, I just don't think that's the case. But I do think that Case of the Ransacked Lab, see what I did there, is the right card moving forward. I really do think that this card is good despite my poor performance in this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you, but that's all I've got for today. Keep storming, all that good stuff. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're looking for more sweet combo content, we have tons of it over at theepicstorm.com where you can find matchup guides, play-by-play, -play, and storm puzzles featuring a monthly combo expert. You're going to love what we have over there.